Hey guys, all right, we are here with another video for Artsy Trio, November 2023. This month's mood board was created by myself, and I was very inspired by the notion that as we head into fall and winter, um, some of us, <laughs> myself sometimes included, get um, you know, a little bit moody, uh, it's all dark all the time, we miss the sunshine. So I took some pictures that I've taken on various vacations and things over the years, um, created a color palette inspired by said pictures, and found a quote that I thought was appropriate, and titled it Starting New Adventures. So anyway, we're going to create something inspired by the mood board but also there's an Instagram account called Making Me, and I will link it down below. And I really find her work very inspirational and uplifting. And so I'm gonna link her account down below and I'm gonna I'm gonna follow some of her guidelines. Um, if you want a copy of my mood board and to see what myself and the other teachers have created, not only check out the video description for relevant links, but go join our Facebook group, RC Trio. And there's a lot of stuff in there. And if you are a part of the group and you do post something with the mood board, tag me in the post. I'd love to see what you do. I have been very bad about checking the group. I admit that. I apologize. But I would love to see what you do if you tag me in the post. I'm more likely to see it. So anyway, we're going to get started. I've got some paint in relevant colors. I am going to mix up a pale pink because I don't have one that I like. Um, I'm using a matte acrylic gouache paint and because that's what I like to do my painting in my journals with and experimenting. Um, I also have a stencil. I used to create my own stencils. I don't anymore, um, but I do have one of them and this was called Four Square Number Nine. And um, I'm gonna, I think, use that. And I've got a couple brushes and uh, yeah. So let's get started, shall we? All right.
Okay, so I always usually add words to my work and this is kind of big, but it's fitting. Um, nine times out of 10, my work is art therapy related. This is definitely one of those. Is it my best work? Probably not, but do I love it? Yep. And this quote that I got obviously out of a magazine somewhere um, needs to be on here. So I'm going to use a glue stick And we are going to put it right there. Practice positive self-talk, shifting negative thoughts, like I'll never be able to do this to positive ones, like it's exciting to try something new. Never be a bully when talking to yourself. And in my opinion, this reflects that. Anyway, the next thing we're going to do is make some notes. And I'm going to do that on the other side of the journal, just like I've done in the past. So we're going to switch to this side. I'm going to glue my mood board down and we're going to make some notes uh, about what paint colors and things that I used and my inspiration uh, of the Instagram account and let's get that done. Okay, as usual, that art journaling experiment was a lot of fun. You will notice that I used some of the black to touch up some oops spots. I mean, it's an art journal page. This is an experiment, and this is not meant to be perfection. And more often than not, as I said, I use this as a form of art therapy to work out how I'm feeling about whatever it is that's going on in my mind right now, and I love that. So anyway, I'd love to see what you do. I would love it if you join the Facebook group. Let me know. If you're over there, tag me in a post. And uh, go out and um, watch the other videos. I'm sh I know for a fact they have some really great takes on this month's mood board. And, you know, above all, enjoy life. Enjoy art. Experiment. Play. Have fun and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Also, maybe like, share, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell because that would be great. Questions and comments and concerns down below. All right, that's it. See you in the next video. Bye, guys.